what's up you guys installing a trailer hitch on your toyota sienna can take you to some really cool places like camping bike riding or even towing a u-haul trailer just about anywhere in north america let's go ahead and break down that install you'll need the tools seen here to complete this installation so we're going to start by removing and trimming our underbody panel so our hitch can reach the frame through it now we don't need to remove the whole panel we're just gonna be removing these two screws right here on the driver's side. We're gonna remove those using a 10 millimeter socket. Now following our instructions, starting from the corner of this hole right here, we went ahead and taped off where we are going to cut on this underbody panel. Now we removed those two screws so we can pull down on our panel. You just have to push in right here and we can pull the lip out on both sides. That way we can see underneath it and we can make sure that there's no wiring that will accidentally cut. So now that we know that there's nothing in the way, we're gonna use an air saw and we're gonna cut out this hole. Now that we have that hole cut, we're just going to reinstall our underbody panel. We're just gonna push it right back behind and reinstall it with the two screws. Now on the passenger side, we're going to lower our exhaust. It's held on by one rubber hanger right here. To make it easier to remove, we're gonna spray it with some soapy water and we're gonna use some exhaust removal pliers to get it off. Now on both sides of our vehicle on the frame rails, you're gonna see a bunch of stickers or rubber plugs on top of your weld nuts that we'll be using to install our hitch. We're gonna to need to remove all those. If it's a sticker, you're just gonna scrape it off with a flathead screwdriver and rubber plug will just pop right out. And we'll repeat on the driver's side. So let's go ahead and show you where our attachment points are on our vehicle. It's the same on both the passenger and the driver's side. On both of our frame rails, we have three weld nuts here, here, and here, and that's where they will attach on both sides. Now on some models of Sienna's, you may have this lip on your underbody panel. This is something we missed when we made this cut over here, but if you do have this lip, our hitch won't be able to go up into place. So we're gonna need to trim this out as well, the entire lip right here. So to get access to that, we're gonna remove all of these screws, all five of them on the edge, and we're gonna remove these two twist nuts here and here. For our twist nut, we're just gonna take a flathead screwdriver and we're just gonna twist it out. and it helps to pull down on it. And then just like before, we're just gonna pull down and make sure there's no wires or anything that can be damaged if it's cut behind it. And we're gonna take our air saw and we're gonna cut off this entire lip. And then we're gonna reinstall our underbody panel. So now we're ready to bring our hitch into place. We will be using our U-Haul exclusive hitch jack. If you don't have a hitch jack, we recommend that you get an extra set of hands as this hitch is pretty heavy. With our hitch lined up, we're ready to bring all of our bolts into place. Each weld nut comes with a bolt and a conical tooth washer that will be installed into it. And you wanna make sure that the teeth on the washer are facing towards the hitch. So let's go ahead and start on the passenger side. And we'll repeat on the driver's side. 
Now that we have all of our bolts in place, we're gonna tighten and torque all of our bolts to the manufacturer specification. We're gonna be using a five inch extension and a 19 millimeter socket. We will repeat on the driver's side. Now with our hitch installed, we're just gonna reinstall our exhaust. So with our hitch installed, we pulled our vehicle down onto level ground to show you some important measurements for your hitch accessories. This is a two inch receiver. From the pinhole to the edge of the bumper is five inches. And from the ground to the top of the inside of the receiver is 11 and a half inches. This will help you determine the length, rise, and drop for your hitch accessories, such as a bike rack and cargo carrier. So that wraps up our install in our video. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about this product, or if you'd like to schedule an installation with a U-Haul hitch professional, you can visit your closest U-Haul hitch center, or you can visit us online at uhaulhitches.com. Thank you.